Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this video, in this series, we're taking the XR2 from Earth out to Jupiter with the plan of landing on Io. Now, of course, the XR2 can't make such a long trip by itself. It doesn't have the, the uh, fuel resources to do that, um, at least not without going in and editing the configuration files to uh, make the uh, locks last longer and make the uh, fuel efficiency much higher um, but I didn't want to do any of that this is just a straight default XR2 configuration aside from the uh, the skin that I'm using uh, so instead you know we decided I decided that I'm going to uh, take the XR2 up into earth orbit dock with the aero freighter and we'll use the aero freighter for that long haul out to Jupiter and then once we get there we will undock the XR2 and land that on IO. Now, as I stated at the beginning of all of these videos uh, in the series so far, uh, at the time of this recording, um, the Aero Freighter is not available for Orbiter 2016. Um, who knows, maybe by the time this video actually gets put up on YouTube, it will be. But at least for now, it's not. So, um, again, at the time of the recording, you can't actually download this. This is an experimental version that I have been uh, privileged enough to be able to check out so thanks Dimitri um, all right so let's uh, carry on with our mission so let me switch camera views here switch camera views here there we go eh, gotta get that thing worked out and jump into the XR2 so in the previous couple videos I was mentioning that I was gonna have a problem docking with the with the aerofreighter because of not being able to dial in the frequencies and I talked to Dimitri and he quickly straightened me out uh, there is this issue where uh, this version of the aerofreighter doesn't have the frequencies set up but it that doesn't matter it's something that I, I knew you could do this but I forgot um, but I used to do this in Orbiter 2010 in the docking MFD if you just press target and go to arrow you can pick the docking ports just like that and it works there's your X and everything you need to dock correctly so I'm glad I waited to get that before trying to before trying to dock visually or you know doing some other weird docking thing so uh, with all that said um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and dock so let's see what do we need to do we need to translate down because we need to get underneath of the of the uh, arrow freighter so let's do that because I, the reason I started going up was because I was thinking I could maybe visually dock with one of those ports up on top but I think um, I like the idea of you know getting inside the vessel and having those doors underneath because I could imagine you know as you're going through the solar system um, you know if the XR2 is docked up on top you know you could potentially get hit with micro uh, meteorites or something like that and do damage but if it's underneath um, if it's inside of the aero freighter, the XR2 itself should be pretty well protected. Rotation. And let's rotate around. We can start getting our uh, red X information lined up here. Here comes the red X. So this will be a pretty standard docking procedure at this point. So it should go fairly smooth, hopefully. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that we do want to try to be a little conscientious of the idea that we're going to be going inside of the aero freighter so uh, it could be a maybe a bit difficult to manage um, you know how how is it that we're going to avoid hitting anything essentially I wonder if I bring up a generic camera I this probably won't do anything though because I don't imagine yeah, I don't really have any camera points set up on this vehicle, but it'd be cool if I, yeah, if I had like a camera pointing uh, like out the back. I wonder how do you do that? How do you set up camera points? Uh, I have no idea. I wonder if that's something I can just do right here and let me see. Let me just mess with this for just a moment. So, parent, child. That just turns off the crosshair. What's that do? I guess that doesn't do anything I'm aware of. Zoom in, zoom out. So yeah, it would be nice if I had a camera 
um, like pointing backwards and maybe one pointing up so that I could see where my fins were so I don't hit the uh, hit the doors but I don't I don't know how to set that up so we won't worry about it power that side off okay now let's translate over uh, we should be let's take a quick look yeah we should be underneath of the doors and clear of them translation so let's start translating a bit to the right rotation and we'll try to translate or uh, roll rotate that's the word I'm looking for to get the vessel so that it's in alignment with the docking port 75 okay so that part of it's taken care of now I'll rotate this way a little bit and now that way all right so my X is lined up I think I still have non-spherical gravity sources and all that stuff off so this shouldn't be too hard although the aerofreighter freighter seems to have some of its own movement because as my my alignment's not holding very well um, I can I wonder if I have remote vessel control I do so actually one thing I can do to make life a little bit easier I'm gonna contact the aerofreighter freighter and say hey stop moving so I'm gonna tell the aerofreighter freighter to kill rotate so that should help my alignment and I'll keep that open I'll put it over here so that should mean translation rotation so with uh, with the aero freighter now having a kill rotate it shouldn't things shouldn't move around so much but I probably will have to do that every now and then do a kill rotate all right let's go translation. linear and we need to go um, let me get my left right portion straightened out before I worry about trying to translate up and once we get once we get a little bit further over here to the right I'll take a look uh, you know I'll just tilt my head up inside of the inside of the vessel so I can see where I'm at nose cones open we took care of that already so right now we're just trying to get our alignment our left right alignment we're almost there Let's bring out some of that translation now so we're almost straight underneath the docking port and right about there so we should take out all of our left right translation now we're gonna look up and yeah we're right underneath so we should be clear now we do uh, we do have these uh, arms that could potentially just come down and pick us up but I'm not quite sure how that works maybe we will experiment with that Rotation. but maybe that's a earth only thing or a, a maybe that maybe those only work when you're landed let me see here what am I trying to do it's a bit off so I want my arrow straight up okay there we go Translation. Now I translate a little bit that way. Actually, I am very curious about those uh, grapple arms, so we're going to experiment with those for a moment. Let's get in position right underneath. There we are. Okay, so we should be pretty well directly underneath. We're moving up at a very slow velocity, so we should have several seconds here to uh, try this so what I'm gonna do F3 to bring up the ship selector go into the aero freighter for a moment welcome aboard commander go All over to nominal. this panel so we want uh, would it be rover lift cargo I think it's I think it's rover lift the docking bay is open crew lift gravity wheel let's try stowing and did that do anything no maybe we have to be closer to it let me try to deploy that first so 
rover lift deploy. Oh, that's that thing. Okay, so that's not the right one. Okay, stow the rover. And it's not the gravity wheel, the crew lift? I wouldn't think it's the crew lift. Maybe it is. Deploy. Okay, so it's not the crew lift. <laughs> so stow the crew lift. Uh, that's landing gear. So, cargo. These are just the lights. Crew. Uh, what am I looking for here? Cargo. Grapple. That's what we want. Let's see if it works. Grapple. Alright, I probably... I probably have to be up higher. But I think that's what we want, a grapple. Let me switch over here, though, really quick, see if there's anything... Oh, dock. No, these are releases. Hold. Those are autopilots. HUDs, RCS. Okay, so I th I'm pretty sure. Let's see, we have system operations, landing gears retracted, docking bay, doors are open. That's stowed, that crew elevator is extended. Gravity wheel, navigations, statuses, rover status attached. Um, all right, I, I feel like what we want is this grapple. Mm, but maybe we have to be closer to... Oh, I, I left down the crew elevator. Uh, lift. Stow. Oh no, we're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. Stow. Stow. Why is it not stowing? Alright, hang on. Emergency operations here. Rotation. Translation. Translate down. All right, I think we avoided hitting it, barely. All right, how do I... Uh, I need to retract that thing. Um, all right, crew lift stow, which I would think... There it goes. Okay. All right, crisis averted. All right, let's switch back to the XR2 for a moment. And let's... Rotation. Translation. So now we want to translate. Uh, let's get ourselves back on target here. With docking port 1. All right, our X is still... Got us lined up. Now we just want to move up a little bit. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, I could use, so one bit of information I could use would be, what is my uh, forward distance to the docking port? Because this is my overall distance, but I don't know what is my forward, backward distance. Like, how far away is my nose cone from hitting this? That I don't know. Okay, so we are moving up. So let's, I, I'm really curious about this grapple. So let me control F3 over to the aero freighter. And, oh, I know one thing I can do. Uh, power, select, here I can use my cameras. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I guess I don't really have to have that open anymore. I don't have to have that open. So power, select, Select generic camera. All right, here we go. So I'll have that one for the XR2 there. I'll have this one. There we go. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let me zoom in a little bit on that one. <clears throat> that is awesome. And now I want to... I'm just going to try to grapple this thing again. When, when can I do that? Apparently not yet. Release? How close does it have to be? 
before I can grapple it? Or am I not even doing this right? Maybe it's not a proximity thing, I don't know. Scenario editor, browse ad, I'm not sure. So the, we can see the XR2 is you know slowly translating up. I wonder if I can get a better camera angle, like straight down. I don't know what camera angle that is. I'm guessing it's back there. Um, grapple? How does that work? I'm not sure. I need to get into the XR2 for a moment, though. Yeah, one thing I can't tell, I'm going to have to cheat and use external view. Oh, see, this is this is what I couldn't tell. So, let me get inside. Alright, so, translation. So we need to obviously move forward a bit. But that's one thing I, I, you can't tell by having this this view here. And I mean, even by looking up and around, like I can't tell where I'm at necessarily in relation to. But that's why I thought those camera systems were so cool because if I could have cameras here in the MFDs, then I wouldn't I wouldn't have any reason to have to look outside which again I think is just a, a no-no but if I have external cameras mounted then that allows me to stay in the cockpit the flight deck um, so I'm I'm guessing I need to go forward a bit more but honestly I, I don't have any way to know because I don't have any way to know how close my nose is to that without doing this so and realistically, you know, we don't want our fins to hit, although I don't imagine the the uh, the collision modeling. I, I know there's some collision modeling, but I don't think it would take that into account. But obviously, purely from a realistic perspective, we would not want our wings to hit the doors, not even a little bit. And we wouldn't want our fins to hit here, which is actually why uh, docking up here would be a lot easier. You know, there's our other docking port. Well, one of our other ones. And then there's docking port for... Maybe that's... That says EVA. Maybe that's not a docking port. See, I'm getting a little worried about my fins. So, and again, I would... Rotation. Prefer to be... Actually in the cockpit of this, but... How can you stay in the cockpit all the time not having any way to know what your distances are between the front of your vessel and here or the back of your vessel and here so those camera systems would would really solve that problem so we're getting pretty close you know we're going to be clear here in just a moment i'll try to wrap this up pretty quickly i'm just really really curious about that grapple because i think it's neat so we're pretty much clear, I would say, almost. Just a couple more, not even not even a whole meter. And then we'll take out our forward velocity. Really start slowing that down. All right, now one more time, I'm just gonna quickly look at this and see, can I grapple? No, I just, I don't know how it works. So, all right, so we're not going to be able to do that. So for the sake of time, let's get back into the XR2. And I think once again, I'm going to have to select one and let's dock. All right, so translate a bit that way, a bit up. Quite, now it's mostly up because we saw in the external view that we're pretty well left, right, okay, and we're forward, backwards. We have our clearance. So primarily, we just want to go up. And then once we're lined up in that direction, we can just move that last half meter or so. Yep, 
yeah looking just looking at the textures you would never know you know if you're clear or not All right, so going to go a little over 20 minutes on this video, but not too much over. We're almost docked. Just a little bit more to go. A little bit trickier of a dock because we have to go inside of the of the aero freighter. Um, and if we're trying to be a little bit realistic about it, you know, we're trying to avoid, you know, hitting stuff basically. And it looks to me like we could maybe take out a bit of translation in that direction. Now we want to start slowing down this way. Almost there. Okay, so we're almost lined up with the docking port. According to the MFD. Just need to move. Having gonna switch to control thrusters now because everything is very close. And we're one and a half meter out. Okay, so gonna start taking out our up movement. Get that mostly zeroed out, and now we just need to move forward. Feel like a little bit that way. Yeah, our rotation's just slightly off, but we're well within the green. So just a quarter of a meter to go. Contact. Contact. Ship is docked. Ship is docked. All right. Before we end this video, well, actually, let's just go ahead and end this video here. So let me uh, pause. Switch camera views. So we completed our docking with the aero freighter. Uh, there was a couple little things I was trying to experiment with there. Um, I'll have to figure out how that grapple thing works. I've seen a video uh, that Dimitri posted on the grapple and it looks neat, but I'm thinking it might just be one of those things that only works when the aero freighter is landed. I don't know. But anyway, if you like this mission, uh, hit the like button down below, leave some comments, and I'll see you in the next part.